Pioneer. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Keeping you up to date with what's been happening with our server and stuff like that. Um, a lot has transpired. Not in particularly the best for my faction, but all in all, um, the season's going quite well. So I'm going to uh, give you an update on what's been happening in that. I now know a lot more information about all the alliances, a lot of mega alliances and that happening. Um, I've been doing a lot of PvP and stuff and that. I'll show you some battles and that. I've been doing a lot of like experimenting with units and that, trying to find the best combo and that, like with some of the meta formations and that. Um, you'll see like I've added Gilgalad to my main lineup now because like it's just he's just too good. And my Gilgalad's only respect level four, which he used to be respect sixteen once, but. Yeah, I reset him, so yeah. Rip the dream on that one. Um, yeah, I'll show you what's going on. Um, we've got a, I've actually got a battle here soon as well, so we've got some live action as well. Um, yeah, but I think we'll go look at the map and show you what's been happening, shall we? Um, let's address the elephant in the room. So yes, we lost our... What could, hmm, it's pretty sad to say, but yeah, we lost our homeland, or I should say like our main keep. Whatever you want to call it, um, the Grey Haven. So we lost that, um, which kind of sucks. But um, Arnold's just been so active and very strong at the moment. You can see we're only down to two lands at the moment. Um, we're starting to lose a lot of resources in that. Um, we're currently focused in the Dunlin area. So originally, what happened was it was just us versus Arnor. And then um, Arnor made like the first mega they made like an alliance and then we had to make an alliance so basically arnor has teamed up with rohan lothlorien and erebor right um we're not gonna con in consider raid like angmar gundabad and mordor and these talks because not too much really going on with them you know what i mean so we were um fighting there and then lothlorien's pretty much been keeping to themselves pretty much um and we went down and like we we're doing quite well and then we just started getting overrun uh also isengard as well they're pretty much wiped the floor as well um so yeah but then rohan started coming up because they're teamed with arnor and started attacking us and were attacking us at dunfuren or dunland and basically we had to then go back and take that back again and it's been a lot of crazy battles. So we were in pretty dire straits. We knew that like once we lost Nian Lun up the top, that we're, we're our capital was just a moment of time before we left, we lost it. So we ended up deciding we would go down into Dunlin area and we'll all relocate here. For example, you can see there's a lot of us here. And we're currently defending. Now, with um that alliance that I spoke of before. Um, so we had no choice, so we have made an alliance with Gondor and with Vargs. So Gondor have currently, they um, ended up coming up and helping fight, and they um, took out a lot of Rohan, that took a lot of pressure off us, and actually took um, Helm's Deep and Edoras, their capital, off um, Rohan. So now Gondor has been making their way up, and they have made all the way their way up here, um, up and they're into the big battle with us now so you can see we're quite built up and you can see that Gondor has now um, joined us as well and they're helping us first Arnor because Arnor um, have war once again and are pushing us non-stop once again into Dunland now so if I go up into the war zone area in that here you can see there's a lot of battling a lot of war happening and stuff there should be a few pins here with quite a fair few, like 3.1 million deaths there, 2.1 million. So, um, been a lot of big battles in that, so like that. Um, we'll go look at Vargs in that in just a moment, because they're um, doing quite a very nice job at the moment. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's happening that at the moment. So, Gondor's coming up and they're going to be a great help. Now, somewhere in some point, because Rohan did have Dunland at one point, they must have parked all the way up and they got land up here now. So I don't know what they're going to quite do up there. Like maybe because they lost Helm's Deep, they're going to probably take Angmar as a capital or something like that. And we, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. 
and Arnor has made their way over and took UAV recently as well. Um, so they're probably going to try help versus Vargs as well. Alright, so that's what's been happening in our section and that. Now, over here, we can see a bunch of battle pins. Um, so, we can see that, like, Claw and Gondor, so Loth and Gondor, have had a little bit of battles here and stuff like that, because they're um, against each other. Vargs have been going really good and are pushing against the Elves really well. You can see that they've been, we go up into the map, you can see that they have they took um a, a sav really well and they're doing great um yeah varg's like very strong and as you can see they're also um up here battling erebor and stuff at the moment even mordor um which are, i think mordor is probably helping um varg's in that and, and there's even a little bit of ruin there very interesting so there's a couple of little battles happening here um, but yeah, that's the big things that are really happening around the moment. There's a little battle pin up here. Just looks like Erebor maybe trying... Well, Erebor are going to try to take this capital at all. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah, it looks like Erebor have reached Gundabad. So they're probably going to try to take that. So that's very interesting as well. Um, so yeah, and then a lot of things can change there. Um, but yeah, there's a big battle that needs to be tried one here. Hopefully Gondor can come more up and um, Obviously, we'll probably have to try to go back for our capital at some point But yeah, that's basically what's happening around at the moment now. Uh, what time is it 825? I've got an attack right now. I've got to go help back these guys up So let's go in shall we we're hitting this 260 um, And I'll show you some other reports in that. We'll see how we go See if we can get a nice report here. Uh, this is what my formation is looking like at the moment. Um, Gilgalad is doing amazing. I've got a report of him doing over 90,000 damage with tier 4. And I've got the evade and stuff like that. And I'll show you more in a bit in a moment. Just after this battle to see what happens here. Alright, so we are dead. It looks like we at least killed one in a bit. Let's have a look, shall we? Alright, so we took out the rest of this guy that was 5,500. So that wasn't too bad. Um, so we couldn't get a full accurate result. And then we went up against... I would have loved to verse this Dane fully. Um, we went in with only 3,000 and did like 3,000 damage to him. So that was still quite nice. So not too bad there on those reports. So yeah, so my commanders, I'll show you what's happening with my commanders. Um, I'm trying to level up some commanders at the moment. Um, my main squad is 43, 43, 43, and 41. The gear is relatively pretty much exactly the same as always. Um, my skilling is pretty much all the same as you would have seen last time. Except for with Gil, I'm just um, using a lot of points in his alliance leader because that does a lot of really good damage. Uh, like, let's go back to that report just real quick and see how, um, yeah, so look, we got 73,000, so Gil's doing really good damage there, that's really good. Like, he's out damaging Beeron at the moment, um, and then even in this one, when we went in with 3,000, he did 50,000 damage there. Like, if I was full health, I would have won that battle 100% easily. Um... And, like, we can have a look at some of their, their gear and that. Like, what's their gear looking like? Okay, so, I've definitely, I've definitely got better gear than him. Yeah, we could have, like, if I was full health there. This guy, level 43s. Okay, that's relatively really good gear there. Dane, I beat his gear there. Nothing wrong there with a seal door, but... I was using a seal door, and he's just not that good. Like, so I just stopped using him. Okay, but yeah, with the rest of my commanders, as you can see, we have two commanders that I really try to work on at the moment is Thurunderal, because he's so good. Um, he's really good at doing healing, as well as some damage and that, so I want to try him out. And then maybe um, Kierden and stuff as well, see what happens. Um, but the, yeah, basically that's all I've been really been using, my second formation. I've used them a couple of times, because my second formation is usually these four here. Gandalf, the Grey, Elrond, Gimli, and Faramir. 
Now, I was thinking as well, because my Gimli is respect 10, I was wondering if maybe, because he has, um, what's it called again? Durin's bloody thing, the skill. Uh, my mind's gone blank in a moment. If we look at Dane real quick, we can see it. You know the one I'm thinking of. What's it called? Yeah, Durin's blood. I'm thinking that maybe Gimli might be able to do more damage than Bjorn at the moment, because um, he's only rough, get roughly getting about 60-something thousand damage. Um, it would be so much better if we are versing evil, but uh, it looks like that's not going to be the case. Um, let me show you some other reports, because I've got some um, pretty cool reports I can show you. Um, from when I was versing T-Don, who is Rohan and that the other day, so let's go back. Um, I had this battle earlier versus Gaia, which did fantastically. So this gives you an example of my formation when it's full and stuff like that. I can do quite well. You can see 92,000 damage there from um, Gilgalad. And then you've got like Dainanat doing really good with 112,000 damage. But yeah, I've got a couple of down here that I can show you that we did. Like this is a pretty solid battle here versus Goldfish guy. Like he's using relatively the same kind of idea as me um and we did quite well gandalf uh the white really doing good tanking but yeah as you can see there i was only tr i was trying out heralds there they were a bit squishy but they're still pretty good and got a really good result if i had the bow knights there, i would have won that for sure but not bad for a bit of a cheaper option for troops um this here was absolutely terrible i got absolutely wiped I wasn't quite sure what exactly happened here. Um, I like um. Oh wait, sorry. I, I actually looked at that wrong. I actually wiped the floor with him. I thought I lost that then. The way how I looked at it then, I thought I lost actually. So yeah, no, I actually did really good report there, but I had a thousand command extra. Uh, um, we won't talk about that report there. I was cooking dinner and my siege got hit low. Um. And I think I got a couple, but this Gruck guy, he wasn't super strong, so nothing too important there. But I think I had one other really good battle down here somewhere. Yeah, this Miftine guy, he's been talking to me a lot. Where's the battle with him? So I had a pretty good solid battle against this guy. Um, and he was using the exact um, same lineup as me. Um, I was using like two tier 4 at the time. And tier 4 does work quite well. Um, I like on Dane for example and yeah it was quite a very good battle here if we go down to the actual breakdowns of this I did 282,000 I received 189,000 damage um, and it was a pretty good battle all in all but yeah I definitely got a lot better gear but I was pretty happy with those results pretty good battle yeah and that's pretty much all that's been happening there's um yeah I'm just been trying to work like I want to try to use other formations but like when I level them up, they're like level 40, you're getting destroyed. It's very hard to find like armies to battle with. Like not many people use a second one all the time. So um, it does seem to get a bit repetitive with that army and that. But yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening at the moment. Um, just restoring my Dana stuff like that and sending back up the front and try to get into more some battles and stuff like that. And then hopefully we can grind back and push against Arnor and that and get some good leeway. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up the video there, so until next time, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.